Hey guys, what's up? Serena Appear here from thriftdiving.com and I am so excited to share with you guys this tutorial today. I've been telling everybody about using Homestyler. This is not a sponsored post. It's just something that I had discovered several years ago and I've been telling everybody to use this website, this free app. It's really cool. So basically what this allows you to do is to create a 3D model of your room, right? Whether you're renovating a room, whether you're just trying to redecorate, maybe you want to change furniture around, but you're not quite sure how it would look with that furniture in that place. Well, this is an easy way to do it, guys, and you don't have to spend any time, you don't have to spend any effort other than just putting it all together um, before you start moving and changing things or painting walls. So I'm going to show you how to do this, but before I show you, let me just give you a quick glimpse into what I've been doing this morning today. This is my master bathroom. Um, of course, it does not look like this right now. The shape is the same, but it doesn't look this pretty. If you could see before pictures, and I'll, I'll include some pictures here so you can actually see what this bathroom looks like. It doesn't look this nice, but I'm considering lavender for the bathroom. I want to build a vanity, and I want something with maybe like dark wood or something that's a little darker, and a new toilet, maybe some new fixtures. Um, and what you can see is that as, as I'm moving around this little point of view person, I'm changing the perspective. It's almost like being inside of a video game, but this is my house, right? And what's really cool is uh, I, I can get an idea of what this bathroom would look like if I had tile, you know, new tile. Let me move my perspective over here. You can see that I've got some great, let me see, if you can see this. I put some great tile here because I would love to have a tile stall, bathroom stall, shower stall, and I could not figure out for the life of me how to get a closet door in this 3D model. I could not get a closet door, so I just put some shelves in there since I have shelves in the bathroom. That's what I did. Very nice looking shelves, and uh, yeah, so this is, this is what the bathroom could potentially look like. I have not done the floor yet, so you know, that's, that's kind of undone, but this gives me an idea of how my bathroom could possibly look if I use these colors and some of these furnishings. So let me show you guys how to do this. I'm going to save this because I don't want to, you know, mess up the, the work that I've done today already. And then I'll start a new drawing and just show you how to do some of this. Now, here's one thing. It will keep asking you to sign in, but just click the little remember me button and you'll be able to, to save your designs. You should, although it keeps asking me multiple times to save it. All right, well, for now, we'll just open a new one. So let's open a new one. I'm gonna click Don't Save, because I know I saved it before. So this is what it looks like. When you open Home Styler, this is what it's gonna look like. Now, you should have measurements of your room, and you, you know, get someone to help you take measurements if you need to, but you need to have what, an your measurements are and what your floor plan looks like. You know, if you click right here, there are going to be some some standard room measurements or standard room designs layouts that you could choose from. So let's say you've got an L-shaped room. So I'm just going to click this one here. I'm going to shape, I click the L shape, and I can just bring it down. It automatically is allowing me to place it wherever I want, and then I'll just click to drag or to leave it there. And let's say I have a room that is not quite standard, okay? Maybe you've got some extra, you know, different spaces. So if you click here, draw a wa draw wall by inner line, click that. Now we can actually point and click, okay? We can drag this however we want to. And we know the measurements, so let's say we've got a crazy looking room here. Heaven forbid there are any rooms that look exactly like this. And if we double click that, then this is our room. And you notice that we've got some measurements here. Now, you just want to make sure that these are accurate measurements. And in order to get out of this, uh, let's see here, because what it's going to do is as you're moving your mouse around, it's still going to be thinking, oh, you want to draw more. So to get out of that is, whoops, we don't want to hit undo. Let's redo that. All right. So anyway, that sort of got us out of there. So now we can actually move around. We can make these larger if we'd like. Down here in the bottom right-hand corner, we can enlarge in this a little. Now, if you'll notice, there is a little 
guy standing here, a little blue guy that has a perspective that you can drag in order to see what this room looks like. So this is what our room looks like. And we also have a window here where if we click our mouse in there, we can actually just click and drag around to see what this room looks like. So there is our room. Now, at this point, maybe you wanna put paint on the walls, okay? So over here on the left-hand side, there is a little paint roller and it's a style. So if you click style, it's gonna give you a lot of different things. It's gonna give you uh, wallpaper, but I'm gonna click here on style to get back to all of the different things. So let's say we, we wanna change the floor. I'm gonna click here for more and it's gonna give me some flooring options. Maybe I want uh, like a birch, a yellow birch. So let's click the little blue add button and now we can, um, it's asking us to select where we want to place that. We're just gonna put our little roller on the floor and click. There we go. And so now we have light colored birch floors. Um, now, if we wanna get back to the 2D view, if you look up here in this little box, you see our little 2D, click this little box here and that's gonna take us back to the floor plan. I generally like to have it in this way. It's easier for me to navigate. Um, and then again, if I take my cursor up here, I can move it around and see what it looks like. Um, let's put our windows in. Maybe we have a window and a door. So over here, you're gonna see a little shovel that says building. Click building. And um, click on building elements right here so that you see everything. So we've got doors, windows. I don't even know what mechanics are. I don't even know what that is. I don't know why I would need that, but I'm gonna click back on building elements and I'm gonna add, oh, there's wall openings. So uh, there's baseboard, there's railing, there's stairs, cornice. Let's add some doors. Let's say we've got a door right here. This is a pretty generic door. So I'm gonna click there and then I can, and then I can drag, I don't even have to drag, it's just attached to my mouse. And let's say we've got a door right here. So I'm gonna just kind of stick that there. And as we move it, you see that the measurements are changing. So you wanna make sure that you put in as close of the exact measurements as possible. So let's put the door over here. Let's, let's put it. And here's the thing about the doors and stuff. Um, they give you a little tip here, enter value or select endpoint to position press tab to, ta to toggle. I'm still trying to figure out how to reposition these doors. Sometimes I get a little stuck and can't figure out how to change the, the location of the door. Um, oh, this looks like it's a sliding door. Oh, cool. Okay, so let's say we have a sliding door there. I don't know. But now we can move around and see what we have here. Let's, let's put a window. Let's go over here to building. Click building. We can click back here to get to all the options, click windows, and let's put the standard window, click add, and now we can move this window anywhere. Let's put the window right here, all right? And again, we can move the window down, we can move it this way, you see it changing, right? And you can also, um, if you wanted to put it higher or lower, once you are inside, I'm gonna click inside here, um, I'm going to click here. Let's say I click here. This takes me inside of the room and I select this, this window. I should be able to move it higher or lower. Maybe I can't do it on this one, but there are things that you, you, when you add them, you should be able to add them higher or lower. But for now, let's just go ahead and leave that. Let's go back to 2D and let's put some paint on the walls. So if you go over here to the paint roller and click style, we can choose let me go back to style and choose all the options. We can choose um, color. Let's choose color. We can choose any one of these colors. Let's say we want to do, I don't know, something like with a dark blue or turquoise. Let's click that. And then now the walls are turquoise. Now, if we want to do an accent wall, maybe we want this wall here to be an accent wall. So I'm going to click this paint roller again, click style and maybe we'll choose some crazy red. Oops, okay, so now it's gonna, it's, now it's giving me the option where I can choose all of them or I can just choose one wall. So I'm gonna select this wall. 
Well, let's see. Okay, wait, I have that one highlighted. Now let's go to style. Let's see. Okay, so there we go. So now we've got an accent wall. We can change the color of the door. I believe we may not be able to change the color of the door. Um, we might be able to though. Let's see. No, I don't think you can change the color of the door. All right, so we're not going to worry about that. But let's go back to 2D. All right, so as we look around, we can see that our room is taking shape, even though it's very ugly. <laughs> if we go up here to catalog, we can actually put furniture. So if we go to work here at living room, we can do seating. And you'll notice that there are specific brands. And I think that this could be, you know, there could be brands that are getting paid for these advertisements. Um, regardless, if it's a style that you like, then just use that. Um, if you want to know more details about it, you can click details and it'll take you to that page where you would be able to learn. And if, you know, it could be an affiliate link. I don't know. But for now, we're, we're just, we just want the shape. So let's click add. Okay, so we're going to add this sofa. This is a huge sofa right in the middle of our room. All right, we have a sofa in the middle of our room. Now let's say these dimensions are wrong. Okay, let's say your room is actually much longer. We can highlight that side and drag it. Maybe we highlight this side and drag this. Um, now you see we can move the sofa around. If we click the sofa, you'll see a little green button here that allows us to turn the sofa around. And then maybe we can move it back here against this wall. So let's turn this perspective around and see, there we've got a sofa, right? And we can put some artwork on the walls. Uh, let's see, catalog. Let's see, let's put art. Let's just type in art and see what comes up. Here's an ugly framed wall, wall art. But let's say we wanted to put this on the wall. Or here's a rug. This is a cute rug, let's put this. All right, so let's say we want to put this right in front. We can turn this around if we want to. And put that, move that right underneath there. All right, so now we can move this around and see. We can change the height of the ceilings, maybe the height of the ceilings. If you go up here to settings, click settings. And global height, it's always set at 8 point, you know, 8. Uh, feet six inches, but we can change that to, let's say we want to change it to 10 feet. That's possible too. Click save. So there's the ceilings that are a little bit taller, okay? So that you can use actual measurements of your room. And there's just a lot of things we can do. We can add, let's say we want to do lighting. We can pull up lighting. Maybe we want to do uh, let's say we want to do this, this little thing here against the wall. We can put that against the wall. Maybe we want to do a lamp setting on top of it. We can add a lamp and set that there. And if we get a little closer, we can actually go up and see what that looks like. We'll move our little guy around, change the perspective. So as you can see, there's a lot that you can do. If you know the exact measurements of your room, you can really get an idea of what it would look like if you had a red room, or if you had a sofa that looked like this in your room, or if you had this kind of flooring, how would it look? And that's why I love home stylers. So just play around with it a little bit and see what you can do. It's a little different from the home styler that I had done a video for maybe about a, a year and a half ago. But the idea is still the same, that you can take all of these different objects and really build out your home and see what it would look like if you had all of these different elements. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. You can uh, find me at thriftdiving.com and you can also send me an email, serena at thriftdiving.com and I will answer any questions that you have about using Homestyler. Thanks a lot guys and I hope you have good luck in all of your room makeovers and your renovations.